hello everyone how's it going welcome back to the channel today's tutorial is about the three major routing in flutter that's the anonymous routing the name routing and also the generated routing so if you found this video to be useful consider subscribing and like the video as well with that said let's jump right in so this is basically the default code when you generate a flutter project i'll be creating a folder within a lab and name that screens and I'll be creating three files. The first one is going to be the first screen dot that. The next one is going to be the second screen dot that. The last one is the third screen dot that. So within the first screen dot that, I will generate a stateless widget. And I'm going to name this widget as the first screen. And also import the material dot that. And return a scaffold in here. I'll be doing same for the other screen, the second screen, changing in the name of the widget to be the second screen for the second one and also the third screen for the step third one. So within the first screen within the scaffold as a body property i'll return a test for now for the test of first page and add some additional information at the styling by giving the test style and specify some font style to be here so in this situation i'm going to give it a font size of 20. i'll be doing same for the other screens that the second and the test screen changing the test There you go. So within the main dot that you need to get rid of the comment and also the home page state state for widgets here. So our initial screen is going to be the first screen. So within the home, we return our first screen. There you go. You can see at the top there. So let's wrap the test within the center widget so we can actually see it over there. There we go. So I'll wrap the test within the center widget for each of the screens. So on the first screen, I'll wrap the test widget within the column. And below the test, you're going to have a button there that's the elevated button, which I've on press attribute and also the chart is going to take a test widget with a test so the test is going to be navigate to the second page so that's pretty much it so let's set the main as this alignment for the column to be at the center so we can actually see it as we're going on there we go So within the press, first we are going to use the first of all target anonymous routing. You use navigator to push with this in the context and also the material page route. And the material page route is in the builder, which in turn takes in the function. We are going to return the second screen widget. That's the anonymous routing. Navigator dot push then pass in the context and the material page route. Which in turn is in the builder and we return the screen we want to navigate to so that's the anonymous routing we do the same thing for the second screen so when you click on it you will be navigated to the second page so we're doing the same thing for the second screen so i'll copy the whole of the first screen code and paste it within the second screen changing in the name to second screen and also the test as well and also we've been navigating to the third screen you need to import that there you go and also navigate to the third screen. there you go you can see it's now working so this is the anonymous routing navigator the push we test in the contest and the material page route which in turn testing the builder then we navigate to the widget we want so let's move on to the name route so within the material.app it is in the route so we specify our first route to be slash 
copy this in the context and we return our first screen that's going to be our initial screen so we repeat that this the, the second router is going to be slash second we are going to return the second screen we need to import that we will do the same thing for the third screen and the route name is going to be slash third and also import the third screen as well you can get rid of the home in here so in saving the change we are going to have an error so within the first screen you should get rid of the material page route and just return our route name that's slash second and we need to navigate by dot push named then navigate to the second route we'll be doing same thing for the second screen we we'll navigate slash to the third screen on the second screen yeah so navigator dot push named read this in the context and the name of the route there we go you can see it's now working perfectly so the last one is the generate routing the generated routing so the generated routing i'll start by creating a folder within the lib folder and i'm going to name this folder as router within that i'll create a file and the name of the file is going to be app router dot that so first of all let's import our material dot that package create a class known as the app router class i'll be creating a function known as the on generate route with this in the route settings so within that function we're using switch statement so in the case of slash we're going to return a material page route We taste in the builder and the builder intent takes in the function and we are going to return the first screen as our initial screen so we we'll do say so in the case of slash second that's the route name we'll be returning the second screen and lastly for the third screen we need to import that as well so default will be returned now so within the switch we have set the setting which has a name on it there we go let's save the changes so within the main of that we're creating an instance of the app router which is going to be final app router then we give a name we create an instance of that so we can get rid of the cons in here to avoid the errors so with the ungenerate function it takes in the ungenerate route which we are going to access our app router which has the method on generate route so that's pretty much it with the ungenerate routing in flutter so if you find this video to be useful consider subscribing and like the video as well see you in this tutorial until then stay tuned